What is going on guys? We're back today and we're talking about the Challenger today. We are going to be taking out um, the shifter that I recently installed because we are looking at selling this. So did I put in a Spartan shifter, a uh, short door shifter a couple years ago. I did not do an install video, but I'm going to do kind of reverse video of actually how to take this out. Um, so stay tuned and I'll show you step by step of how to take the one I put in out and put the factory one back in. Stay tuned. All right, so first step, we are gonna take this little rubber boot out that's inside here. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are four seven millimeter screws you'll need a ratchet extension for. And we're gonna take these out. Uh, sorry, it is eight millimeter screws, and there are four of them down here. So we'll take these out real quick. Okay. So we are going to get um, some pry tools next, set these up for later. I'm going to try to pry the shift boot up next. So this should be your next thing here, and I believe Should be a uh, yep. Should be these little clips. Just be careful that you don't break them. It should just pop right up. There should be four on each side. One or two on each side. I mean, sorry. That should pop right up like that. Perfect. So next, you need a. 19 millimeter uh, wrench to take this off and then we could slide this whole shift boot up. okay so you need a 19 millimeter wrench for this nut I don't have one I have three quarters it should be the same yep semi not the same but it'll work let's just unscrew this now Go. I'm gonna go ahead and take the the nut off. Let's put this over here. For the time being, this should slide off. The zip tie came off. There it is. All right. So next, I'm going to. I think I'm just going to take these bolts out first and I'll slide the whole handle up and then I'll just have to loosen all these first and I should be able to take this handle out and then we'll work on taking the rest of it. Alright so these are half inch bolts. Go the other way. I'm not going to take these all the way out yet. I'm just going to loosen them just so I can get the handle out. These middle ones you'll have to take all the way out because they're the ones that hold the actual handle in place. The rest of them I'm just gonna leave in there because there's no point in me putting them back. Oh my gosh. And it's good to keep this in for right now. That way you got a place to hold your bolts. That's 
So what you don't want to do is drop uh, washers. Save that. So next, I believe we actually have to take, yeah, we actually have to take all these off because, um, the head of the shifter won't go through the boot. Otherwise, this makes it too wide. and put them in the other cup holder. These should all be the same bolts as well, so you don't, not the front and the back should the same. All right, so now I'm gonna take all my pieces that I have, I'm gonna put them up on the bench because we don't wanna lose anything. I'll come back for the bolts. take the console out it should be pretty easy I'll show you how to do that okay I got all that stuff put away now this piece should come out I'm just going to try to use a pry tool This should just pop right out. Now we're going to have our electrical connectors underneath this. We should have one there for your cup holder light. Comes out. This is your power outlet in the front or your cigarette lighter. And this should. Alright, there's a tab on the back side push it down it comes out all right so I'm gonna set this in the back seat so now I need a Phillips head screwdriver this comes out and this comes out and then this whole thing should come right off and I don't know if you can see this but there is a 
screwdriver, or a screwdriver, a Phillips head screw here. So I'm just gonna take this out. There's one on this side. Be able to take that out. Now this whole thing should slide backwards toward the back of the car. Careful, you do have a electrical connection here um, pressed up from the bottom side and it should come loose. That is three. There's one more underneath here for the USB. So what we're going to do is gently lift up on this until we can flip it over. Actually, you can see it right here. I can figure out how that thing goes. Okay, the tab's on the bottom part. Pressing the bottom down here. Pops out. Okay. Now we're going to take this, put this in the back seat as well. So now we have the air duct. This should come right up. It's got these little tabs that go through the floor. Just don't break them. This should come right up. And we'll put that in the back seat. Now we are almost down to the end, which is the hardest part. So here we got these bolts here. I believe they're eight, they may be 10 millimeter. Um, we'll take these up and then we'll be able to pull this whole, actually let's go ahead and pull the boot up. We can pull this whole boot up, but I might do it just tape it up here to the dash so, just so it's out of the way. And then we'll take these bolts out. And then we'll take this last one out here, which will actually drop the whole, um, it'll drop the whole shifter down with the linkage to the transmission. But I'll show you that in a second. All right, so I'm gonna use some duct tape. Just whatever I have in the thing. What the heck? We're just going to tape this up here. Just so it's out of my way. Okay. I believe these are 10s. Yep, these are 10 millimeter bolts. So let's check these out. I might need a 10 millimeter wrench for this part. Hold on. All right, now I got all four, all six of these out. What we're gonna do is we're going to take a 13 millimeter wrench, and we're gonna take 
this bolts out. This will allow the shifter to actually drop down. And then we'll take the shift boot off down here. And I'll show you what we're... Take this off. You can see the Barton shifter underneath. Set that outside for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this out completely because I'm going to put the factory one back in. Let's go ahead and take that seal off. Put it with the other stuff. All right, so there is a clip here, and there is one back here, which is looks like it's freaking off. Nope, it's not. It's down. These are a pain to put on. So you will drop these. You will drop this one and this one below the car multiple times. Don't get frustrated. You can do it. So we'll take these off. These you literally just pull back here and then the pin just slides out. That's all it is. The other one is way worse. Hold on, I gotta take my watch off. The other one's gonna pull up, like rotate. If you're looking at it from the Passenger seat, it should rotate clockwise. My hands are too big. I put this on, I swear. Yeah, it should rotate clockwise. I might need to get a pair, pair of needle nose together. And then there's one more bolt down here. Which I believe, I think it's a, I think it's 12. Let me go get my ratchet. All right, new plan. I'm not gonna do this bolt in here. I'm gonna do this one here. And then we'll take the whole assembly out. It's easier to put this in because it's on top than the bottom one. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, by the way. It probably has Loctite on it. That's why it's so hard. I didn't take this one up the first time, so. This one's never been out. Okay, y'all, uh, this is terrible. This one will not come out. End up having to jack the whole car up. Um, got it. I took this one out. It's got lots of Loctite on this one. It takes forever. Now, Take the whole thing out. So now we're going to take this apart on the bench right here, and then we'll look at putting the old one back in. All right, so we're going to take this one out here. Barton shifter. Now we're 
gonna put it in my old shifter. It's a whole lot easier on the bench than it is in the car. This is also a 10 millimeter bolt. Make sure that's good and tight. Alright. Now, we're ready to put this back in. This is becomes the fun part. We gotta put those stupid clips back in. Hopefully I don't have to jack the car up again. But we will see. And I'm gonna need, nope. Yeah, I'm gonna need that 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Slide all this into place. I'm gonna put my bolt back in for this little knuckle here. And that is why. <laughs> okay. That was terrible and painful process, but I got the clips back in here. I don't even know where to have my flashlight on. Um so yeah, I got the clips back in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the we're gonna put this back on we're gonna put the shift boot back on should this slide over Because this bolt needs to come up through this hole right here. Here we go. We want to put this 13 millimeter just to hold it in the spot. You know what? Let's do it this way. Let's see here, this should just fall right back down in this place. shift boot up through this hole just to keep the keep everything out from up here and there should be a lip on it that'll go around this metal pleat piece right here kind of separate 
the inside from the outside of the car. There we go. Should just peel up. There we go. That's installed. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put all of our nuts back on here. And this plate will be going back in place and then we'll tighten everything up. got everything everything tightened up all these bolts this bolt done and now I'm going to go ahead and put my um, shifter back on what I'm going to do first actually is take this back off let's put this back down over everything and we're going to tuck this rubber back up underneath the carpet Just like that. Easy. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my shifter back in. This is the one that comes stock from the uh, factory. It's got terrible slop in it, but I am not gonna sell my other one with the car because it's $500 and it'll fit them on my Hellcat so I don't know what size these are but we're gonna hope for the best they are 13 That you can even see the slop already and it. it's terrible all right now we're going to start putting everything back in reverse and go from there i believe it goes this way there's the air vent up in there kind of wiggle that up in there then there is a clip for this and it'll push down right there make sure you got your clips for this now we're putting let's see here uh oh I'm gonna make sure I don't got that pinch don't don't pinch your USB wire. Okay. Now we're going to put... Goes on my change. This goes back in here. But before, before we do that, let's go ahead and plug in this wire here for the back. That's, let's see how I did that before. That's on the bottom. Go ahead and plug the USB back in. Make sure these come up through the cup holder here. And we should be good to go to slide this back in place. Should be a little further up, I believe. Oh, hold on, something. All right. So now we're gonna put our screws back in.
Should pull tight. Let's put the other one back in on the other side. Again. This needs to go down just a little bit. Oops. Here we go. Let's tighten that back up. Okay. Now, put this piece back on. Your, uh, call it. This goes in here for your cup holders. So, plugs in there, and don't forget your, this cord plugs up here as well, and then this will plug in to your, um, power outlet right here. Just like that. Actually, let's plug the power outlet in afterwards. Or I can well take everything I said back. Slide this up first. Well, I got the dang gear shifter. I don't have to do it like this. There we go. Power outlet right. Well. Cup holder. Here. Everything should snap back in place. Let's so gotta put our bolts in here. And then we'll just put the shift foot back on. And that is uh it. There's one clip I think that goes on the shift foot. I got it up on the bench, but it'll just messed up I messed up y'all you have to put the shifter through the boot otherwise it won't work shifters too big it's not like the other one note do not put this on until the end put it back on. That makes it much easier. Okay, you know, I got the, the boot back on. I just put a zip tie on there. I wasn't gonna fool with the plastic clip. Too tired to do that. Last but not least, we have 
these last bolts that go down in here. Should have four bolts. Let's go ahead and start them with this long extension. Tighten them back up. Plastic cover and go back in, and that is it. Whew. Appreciate you all watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and below. Please like this video and subscribe. Thanks.